Hey guys, Update Guy here, and I'm just going to be walking you through how to use uh, your box that you bought off me, or how to use the apps in which uh, I updated the box for you, if I happen to update it for you. Uh, so today, I, today I'm using this on my T95Z Plus. This is my second highest model, really, really great box. Uh, of course, you just plug it in with HDMI directly to your screen, and then with the power cord, and connect your remote if you... Uh, have one or if you bought one or already had one um, And then of course go to settings and you're gonna need to make sure you have uh, internet connection whether that is with Wi-Fi you can see I'm connected right there or If you have hooked up with Ethernet, which should just be plugged in and it will say connected Near the bottom there if you are plugged in uh, So first I'm gonna go through the apps I recommend using and then of course you can use any apps that you see fit uh, if I can, I always add the apps on the main screen here. If I wasn't able to add them on your main screen or you ran out of room on your main screen, you just simply go to apps and you'll see all the apps installed here. There's even the gaming apps which I install uh, on my boxes. Uh, if that's something you want, you can inquire about that. Uh, so the first app I recommend using uh, is the top app at the moment and that is Cyberflix TV. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Cyberflix it loads right up. You can see it's set to TV shows right away. So it kind of goes through the most popular TV shows. On the top right here, you can choose categories if you'd like. Um, it even has a Netflix and Hulu category if that's something you'd like. Uh, you can change from movies to TV shows right here. So now we go on to movies. Uh, well, let's say we select a movie. Let's say we want to watch Aquaman. So we select it. Oh, there's also a uh, search button in the top right here you can see. You can search whichever movies you'd like if you can't find what you'd like. Uh, if these screens aren't popping up then you're probably not connected to the internet so if it says no data then yeah you're probably just not connected to the internet. So let's say we click on Aquaman. Um, we'll just click OK on that. You can favorite movies or shows in the top right corner and once you favorite they will show up. You can just go to the top right corner here and click your favorite shows and switch to movies and then it'll have that. So you don't always have to search up your favorite TV shows again and again. So we'll click on Aquaman and we'll have this screen. It has an overview of the movie. Uh, to play it, we're just gonna go to the top right corner and click the play button. And from here, you'll just see links load up. Uh, at the bottom here, it says uh, verify. That's if you want those links, you can verify that. You have to do that every time, uh, about every four hours. You don't really have to do it. I don't do it. Uh, and then you'll see all these links pop up. So they're sorted by quality. So these are 1080p, these are 720p, and it goes all the way down to 460. Uh, so the 1080p links uh, will usually have a higher chance of lagging due to the size of the files. Um, if you do have fast internet and a good box, usually they'll be okay, but it's just something to look out for. I usually just select, I usually just scroll down and select either uh, 720p, or the HQ links or the 480. They're usually all good. And we'll just click play. I already preset it always to the best player. So then you're just gonna have to click play. And then this will pop up just the first time you do it and just press allow. And then just something like that, the movie loads and you're good to go. Um, if you find a link doesn't work or is buffering, you can always try another link. Sometimes that's the reason why uh, if you've been using your box for a while and you notice the, the talking is off, I'll be posting a video very soon on um, how to get that working again, uh, if that be has become a problem. And then yeah, so we'll go to a 1080p link and click play. These apps do auto update, it'll say update. And you can see the 1080p link, uh, P link loads fine with me, I have great internet, this is a great quality box, uh, no problem at all. So now we'll just back out. Um, I'm not going to walk through every single app 100%, but I'll go through uh, the main ones. Uh, so next up is BTV. So we'll click on that quickly. Very, uh, very similar to Cyberflix. Um, you just scroll through movies and stuff on the side, searching in the top. So we're not going to go through that 100% all the way through. Uh, Mobdro is an app for free uh, IPTV. So this has uh, no extra fees to it, uh, like my premium service. Uh, so you can just go to sports and you'll see all the channels here. The quality isn't great all the time and the consistency isn't always there. So the channels won't always load. 
but it is a good free option if you uh, don't want to pay monthly. Um, and we'll see if we can get it to load up here. Like I said, not every channel is always going to load, but uh, the majority of them do work pretty well. Um, looks like we're not having any luck here, but I promise you they do work. You just have to maybe play around a little bit and you'll see. LiveNet, same thing. Uh, free IPTV as well in LiveNet. Just takes a second to load up for the first time. We will see it load here. And then if you see in the top uh, left corner, there's this, which will let you select the categories once it loads. First time, we'll just wait a couple seconds. Uh, we'll just click wait there. And then you'll see the categories here, Canada, news, sports. And we go all the way to other countries as we go through. So we click on sports. We get a lot of sports channels here. Um, Let's say we want to watch uh, Bain Sports USA, we click on it, we'll click Link 1. If Link 1 doesn't work, you can try Link 2. And you always want to select MX Player, that's the right player to use. Just click on it, and if it's a working link at the time, it should load right up. If it's not, then you'll just have to try the other link. And with these free ones, sometimes, yes, it does take a little bit while to go through. We're not going to wait for it. Um, as well, TTV is another good app. We can just click on it here. Same thing as Cyberflix and BTV. Uh, just movies, TV shows you can uh, use as you see fit. Uh, some people like other apps more. Apps like uh, Cyberflix, they do have... Uh, Cyberflix is ad-free. Uh, TTV does have some ads in it. So if an ad pops up, you just click the back button once it's done loading and you can exit out of the ad. So it's really up to you which ones you want to use. This one as well has some free... Uh, IPTV, if we scroll down on the left hand side, you'll see a little TV right there. You can click on that and then just click update and it'll update the list. And we'll press the plus button, import from TTV once we press the plus button in the right corner. And I don't know if it wants to do it. Yeah, so we're just going to leave that for now. Maybe I'll do another video showing how to do that. But yeah, same thing, just movies, TV shows. Um, and then also, of course, I fully load with Kodi. So we can click on Kodi. Honestly, Cyberflix TV is quite a bit better than Kodi, but uh, it is a great option. If that's, uh, if you want to just, uh, if you're used to Kodi and it's something you want to use. So we'll just wait for it to load up here. No, it didn't want to load. Okay, so the last thing we'll go through is just the premium IPTV, which is this little TV screen app right here. We'll click on that. I'll go through Kodi another time. I'll see what's going on there. Uh, and then you'll just see this yellow bar loading up. So as soon as the yellow bar loads up, we'll give it a second. If you don't get a yellow bar, chances are you're not connected to the internet. And you'll just need to connect to the internet and restart your box. And it should load up just fine. Depending on your internet speed and speed of the box, it sometimes takes longer. So once it loads up, we're just going to press the back button or the return button on our remote a few times to get to the main menu. And the main menu will look something like this. I will be doing a video soon on a little more in depth on how to use the IPTV. So uh, just ask me about that if you want to get that. So the first section is video club and this is all video on demand. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing a video on how to search, and this is all on private servers, so it loads very, very, very fast. It has thousands and thousands and thousands of movies. Um, same with English TV shows. There's 3D movies, sporting events, and you can just keep scrolling down, and there's tons and tons and tons of categories, uh, even for Arabic and other languages. Uh, now, if we go to the TV section, this is where all the live TV is, and it's all cited by, cited, or sorted by category. So we can scroll down, and we'll see all the categories. English, uh, Canada and the U.S., sports, U.S. test. Those are test channels that they're testing out. U.K., um, all other languages, NHL here. You can see all the NHL channels there. And you just have to check those to see uh, which one your team is playing on. Here you can see Arizona versus Coyotes is there. So you just scroll through that as the games come on and you'll see the games. Same with 
NBA section. And same with the NFL and MLB. And as they come out with more MLB, there'll be another section. And we can just scroll through everything. Um, you'll see adult. The password for that is 4546. And then you just simply press OK. And that will load up. I'm going to back out so nobody sees any of that. And then, yeah, that's just about it. You can go through all channels. So USDS channels, you'll see all pretty much any channel you can imagine. Not every channel has a guide. If it has the little clock, that means it does have a guide with it usually. And you can just click on that and you'll see the channel load up just fine. Click it again and you got full screen. And then just press back to get back to the other menus. And same with sports, you'll just see all these sports channels, pretty much every sports channel you can imagine. And yeah, that's about it, kids. Kids channels, 24 hours, Peppa Pig, Caillou. And yeah, that's just about it. I'll be doing a more detailed video soon on how to use. And yeah, that's pretty much how to use everything in your box uh, that I installed, except for Cody, which I'm not sure why that wasn't loading, but I'll do another video on it soon uh, on how to use the Cody that was installed. But like I said, I do suggest using the apps um, that I suggested earlier on in the video. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.